Well, hello there. It's that time again. Time for the blog that truly blazes, as it does every week, here at my home, away from home, Modern Zen. I'm a day late. It is Saturday morning, early Saturday afternoon of October the 11th now. Yes, October 11th, 2014. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and most importantly, as always, what lies ahead of us towards the end of this week. So do stay tuned, some good things to follow. That's right, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. And this card was the Six of Swords. Now this is a nice card, it's Mercury in Aquarius, it's entitled Science. And the idea of this card is applying our minds, our noggins, <laughs> intelligently towards particular goals. Now, as I reported last week, we started the Mercury retrograde, and unfortunately, a week ago yesterday, I had an automobile accident. I wasn't seriously injured. Nobody really got hurt, but it did total my car. So I've been dealing all week with uh, dealing with the insurance companies, working with the tow yard, you know, all this stuff that goes into dealing with an accident. So my labor has been applied in that area and towards the end of this last week now I started to get some firm ideas in mind about what I'm going to do about a new automobile. Now you may not have had such a dramatic occurrence but you may have found yourself really having to focus mentally on what you wanted and how you wanted to get it. And actually it's very interesting that energy is going to continue this week as we look at the next card. That's right, the next card it's the same card. It's the Six of Swords, Mercury, and Aquarius. I shuffle the entire deck before I do these readings. I put all the cards in. I don't pull anything out. So if a card repeats itself, there's a good reason for it. And evidently, that persistence, that focus, that paying attention to detail, being sharp mentally, is important at this time. Now it's challenging because Mercury retrograde is characterized at times with a bit of fuzzy thinking and paperwork details you have to watch them closely. All right, so this is not the best time for me to purchase an automobile however my rental car coverage is going to run out at the end of the week so I think I better do something. Okay, uh, I'm not signing any contracts. All right, We're going to get it outright but still you know, it's better if you can wait for these sort of things. Uh, but you know, the Mercury retrogrades are not like hugely, normally hugely dramatic occurrences. It depends on how it affects you individually. And for some people, it can be fairly mild. And for some people, like me, because I'm a fixed sign, I'm an Aquarius, it, it kind of hit me a bit extra harder. All right. But I see this as being basically a good week if we focus our minds and we're persistent towards our goals and we don't let anything interfere with us, you know, like giving up. That's what I mean by letting things interfere. You know, don't give up and persist. We should see some nice results by the end of this upcoming week. That's right. The third and final card is a Queen of Discs or Pentacles. It's Capricorn Energy. A Capricorn is conservative with money, it's careful with the resources, it makes sure that everything is taken care of, that all the details are checked, and it just tends to be a very, very ambitious and very financially powerful energy. So you may find yourself towards the end of this week really settling into manifesting your goals, really looking over your finances, checking what you're doing, and basically, as far as I'm concerned, it's making things happen. So for somebody in my situation, with this resolution towards the end of this week, that looks pretty good, okay? Again, we just always have to double check our figures, double check our details, make sure we're paying attention, and if we do, we can still have some good results during a Mercury retrograde. Well, there you go. The blog blaze, you blazed with it. I love you, I appreciate you, and until I see you next week, many, many blessings.